Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. Incredible scenes in Pretoria. Glasgow Warriors have beaten the Bulls 21 points to 16 to claim the 2023-24 URC title. Coming from 13-0 down, by the way. An incredible second half performance has seen them beat the hosts in what was an absolute epic final. Having to defend a more on well over the 80th minute on the 5 meter line. To win the game, Glasgow get the job done. What an incredible performance, an incredible final, an incredible season to be honest. And so much to celebrate for the Glasgow Warriors fans. I don't think anybody would have put money on, on Glasgow winning the title. And Bulls, I suppose you can only really blame. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say they blame themselves, but they had the chances, didn't they? They could have won the game. It was there for them. But they allowed Glasgow to get back into the game. And uh, in the end... 40 man actually glad warriors by the way at the end getting the job done uh, busy watching heartbroken real look here on screen uh, he'll have his opportunity to reflect on this game can be very proud of his efforts but uh franco smith yeah what a bit of a master class there uh before we go through the, the game and exactly what happened when please do smash like on the video please do subscribe to the channel as well it was all going pretty well for the bulls an early penalty in the first minute from Johan Kursen. A, another penalty for, from Jan Kursen in the 14th minute. And then a mark of the start and try in the 24th minute with Jan Kursen adding the extras. 13-0 after 25 minutes. The Bulls were looking really solid. Every single time they were getting into the, the 22, for example, they were finding a way to score points. They were capitalizing on the opportunities. Glasgow, on the other hand, for all that they had good opportunities in that first 20, 30 minutes, couldn't find a way to make a count eventually there was a, a, a way back in the game and that was a try on the, the half time mark from Scott Cummings and um, that I think was 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 massive uh, in, in regards to the, the result. You know, George Horn adding the extras, 30.7 at half time. Suddenly that gave Glasgow the hope. Bulls try to, uh, you know, basically uh, extinguish that hope in the 51st minute with a penalty from Jan Kursen, but then bang. Glasgow pitched up and they turned it on. 53 to third minute. George Turner, George Turner, George Turner going over with Horn adding the extras. 60 second minute. Uh, Hugh Jones this time going over with uh, Horn adding the extras there to make it 21 points to 16. A late yellow card to Tom Jordan in the 77th minute gave the Bulls a penalty. They got down to within 22 meters. Another penalty. Another line out. Another penalty. They went to the other side. With another penalty. They had all the chance to the Bulls try and snatch it at the end, but uh, couldn't get the job done. Um, and at the end, you just have to you have to admire this Glasgow side who were not dying out, but well behind the game at a stage. Hung in there, remained calm, and in that second half, just brought a whole different level of energy, um, physicality, and determination that the Bulls just simply couldn't match, to be perfectly honest. Uh, and if you look at like the 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 some of the stats, it tells a very, very interesting uh, story with um the Bulls averaging 1.8 points per entry, 1.7 point entry for, for Glasgow, 12 entries for them, uh, 7 for the Bulls, uh, which shows you how the Bulls were generally more um, proficient, really. Um, but if we look at some of the stats, um, always interesting to see. Uh, Territory-wise, dominated by Glasgow, 58%. As uh, possession, however, 52% with the Bulls. How's this for uh, a, a defense? Last 10 minutes... The Bulls had 100% of possession. Glasgow did not have ball in hand for the final 10 minutes. They just defended like their lives depended on it, and it made all the difference. Looking at the set plays, Bulls scrum was impressive, but uh, Glasgow Warriors uh, rode off to reality in an early way, got into the game, and started winning some scrums. The lineup for Glasgow, not phenomenal. Bulls also losing a few, but generally a lot better. We look at the attack, and this is where Glasgow come into the own, isn't it? Six line breaks for the Bulls, two. 436 meters, post-contact meters for Glasgow, compared to 230 of the Bulls. Um, turnovers, 1-4 from Glasgow, 5 from the, the Bulls. Pretty uh, easy there. Glasgow won despite conceding 17 penalties. And how's that for, you know, a, a testament to the Bulls not taking their chances? 17 penalties, that means there's options for goal. That means there's options to get down the park and, and try and create opportunities. Jan Kursen, for example... Kicking the ball dead, you know, when they got a penalty late in the game. Those were the small um, moments. But there's one stat which, for me, shows you why Glasgow won this game. 180 tackles missed. So 180 tackles made, 15 tackles missed. A 92% tackle completion rate. Compared to the Bulls, 152 tackles made, 41 missed. 
79%. Yes, I know attack completes in, is not always an accurate stat, you know, for example, especially with the new sort of rush defenses, we're seeing more and more people get out the line quickly, make the head stop momentum rather than completing the tackle. But that just shows you how relentless this Glasgow defense was. Uh, man of the match, um, I think, was uh, Matt Ferguson. What a game he had. Uh, if we look at the carries, Albert Lowe with 12, Mark Verstappen with 11, Jack Dempsey 11, Carl Stain with 7. Um, but let's look at the tackle stats because Scott Cummings with 21, Jack Dempsey with 20, Matt Ferguson with 19. How's that for defensive effort? Uh, Ruan Okia left it all out there with 16 tackles himself, Hero Stenekamp with 15. Um, but I think for me, it was those those three players from Glasgow who really stood up and uh, and, and and got the got the, the, the job done. Uh, Carl Stan was impressed with ball in hand, by the way. Three line breaks, topping the charts there. If we look at meters carried, for example, Jack Dempsey, 112. He had that, uh, almost uh, had an important try, but was ruled out. Josh McCarr was good with 84. Carl Stain was 76. Um, defenders beaten were Josh McKay was 7. Jack Dempsey was 7. Carl Stain was 6. So the Bulls defense, just, just not really good enough. And um, yeah, that was the difference. With Glasgow just, just drew a line in the sand and said, no, we are not losing this. We will come back. We will win this game. They have done it. And uh, I mean, all the Glasgow players in tears, I mean, to go and beat Munster away at Foreman Park, to then come down to the cauldron that is Loftus and beat the Bulls as well. You have been so proficient. It's an incredibly impressive um, feat. And I think Franco Smith deserves all the plaudits. It wasn't always the smoothest of sailing of time. It took a while for him to get this Glasgow Warriors side really firing. And now they are URC champions. Absolutely incredible. Let me know what you thought about the game down in the comments below. Smash the like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon. Thank you.